What's up, everyone? Welcome to Just Roll With It. Um, my name's... I quit, guys. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> hey, guys, I forget, I forget what order we do this in now that we don't have face cams. Yeah, so I just want to establish for everyone listening to this or watching this right now, you'll see them. All I see right now, because both Grizzly and Bizly have found a way to somehow annihilate their internet connections over the last week. All I see is really just me and Condi. Like so all I'm going to say is if this episode is, you notice it's overly, maybe maybe it's more sensual between me and, <laughs> and Condi kind of fiction. It's because right now we're just trapped. It's just us in a void. Like with these disembodied voices, well, you, you man. know how it is. Yeah. Can you guys can you guys introduce yourselves first and I what? go last? What? Huh? What was that? Okay, disembodied voice. Hi, my name's Condi Conda Fiction, and I play Jay Farron. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. God, if it gets me into heaven, my name is Charlie Slimesicle, and I play Gilliam Tidestrider. I think that might have been the devil, actually. And my name uh -oh. is disembodied voice <laughs> Bisley, and I play Chip. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's me, Grizzly, and I'm the DM. And today, we're going to decide if we're going to do the show via coin flip. So I'm gonna have these three boys pick heads what? or tails. Heads is for heads is for recording the episode and not playing D and D. Tails is for uh, playing D and D but not recording the episode. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. The audience will love that. I, I flipped it, but it hit me. Oh my god, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, here we go. Hey, do you want to just call it early tonight, man? It's I'm sorry that happened to you. Oh, such Ooh. a crispy sound. That's a really good what a sound. Nice sound. Yeah, I like that. It awesome. was tails. You're what's it? All right, it was tails. See you guys later. Okay. See you guys. So, Thank you guys so much for coming. Hey, if you want more stuff like this, don't forget to check out the Patreon over at uh, <laughs> Patreon.com/slash Just Roll With It. You can find even more content, and you're gonna want it. Thanks yes. so much for listening to this one, guys. Okay. Okay. I'm not recording, guys. Let's hope this doesn't leak and accidentally get out. <laughs> That'd be awkward. That'd, That'd be suck. really awkward if we accidentally all recorded this. Right, this shot. doesn't get out. <laughs> the pirates of the Albatross have escaped Edison Castle, bringing along young King Leon and his retainer. Will they aid in this kingdom's prosperity or its demise? Well, we can only know for sure that they'll absolutely just roll with it. Where are DM, we last left off? DM, are we? Oh, never mind. Are you gonna ask for a level? No, I was gonna ask for a short rest. Yeah, that's fine. Yay! Awesome. The train ride. Well, you're in this train ride. You guys are short resting. Okay, After you cool. cast that that uh, ritual is train, spell for is the train ride the eight hours long by chance? Absolutely not. Shut up. <laughs> Where are we last left off? The three of you, Chip, Jay, and King Gillian. Found your way into the Crown District, successfully infiltrating Edison Castle to rob the treasury and, per the Blossom, the Blossom boss's request, I'll never get it right, execute <laughs> the king. However, upon meeting the king, you found he was just a young boy, and unfortunately, you found one of your highest crew was a traitor. As Abdul the Frogtopus Racer took the young king hostage and tried to assassinate him himself. You managed to subdue him, but in the conflict, the king's retainer, Mr. Watts triggered the top security, secret security, chronomancer constructs built to guard the king's life. As he bursted into the bedroom, Jay disguised herself as the king. Gillian shoved Abdul into a dresser and Chip stole as much treasure as possible from the treasury. The guard was completely deceived when Abdul freed himself from the dresser and attacked the imposter King Jay, allowing Gillian and the real king to escape the room. Following Chip, Ali, and the heroic Horace Puddle out the window of the royal study, the highest point of the castle. Eventually, you all uh, got rid of the pursuing security. Abdul was disintegrated, and thanks to Puddle's courageous sacrifice, you escaped the castle together, and just barely caught the last train out of the Crown District. And so, the journey continues. As you all are inside this train car still, built for a, uh, just, uh, just this group, the horse erected from the middle of the uh, the space, <laughs> shoving some Why of you. Why you his vocabulary? <laughs> you fucking perverts! So the I horse is now aroused inside this the train car. 
You bro, want to I just, do this. You're I just doing expelled this on air so fast from my nose, I swear it was a whistle. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. And you guys have been thrusted into the windows of the of the car. It's good to be sailing at full mast again. <laughs> Penis. Oh <my> <laughs> Cock. Oh my god, guys. Okay, get into the character. <laughs> You're all inside the train still. The horse came out. Ollie was gawking at I'm it. So, Gillian I'm was so crying. proud of the horse. Oh man. The young king Leon was looking outside the window as Gareth Watts was coming to. Right, right. Right, okay, yeah. He looks um, at you all, um, the retainer. Um, after this horse spectacle. Uh, and he tries to get a word in. Why do you plan That's to take us all? Question, I mean, Gillian, you're the one. What's the goal here? Kind of the, the, the head of this plan. Jumping off the undersea hero of the deep, yes. Are you really a king? No. <laughs> no, what? Uh, no, I'm that no life king. life fell apart so quickly. <laughs> I'm no king. Monarchy is bullshit, but I intend to take this king here and show him the true expanse of his kingdom. Not like all of us have much of a choice. I have a request. If And he's like starts to like sit up a little bit. Of course. If someone, anyone asks, we must not let the the people know that this is the king. Uh, I think that could work out for us. Listen, we actually have some disguises we could use, Chip. Um, for for a king. Well, no, think about it. I mean, guy wanted the king dead. King's uh -huh. dead. I mean, yeah, but that means I get my pinky back. No, that's tired of the nub. Not a fan <laughs> of the nub. Listen, a Abdul said that he wanted the king dead, but he also told us that while well, he was the current king so maybe maybe you know not the loophole you think it is chip okay but the king that he thinks is the king is dead and that's all that really matters gary okay. perhaps you should know that we were sent to assassinate <laughs> the king but well, we okay okay elected hang on not to do we that. were not we were not we coming we to assassinate the to, king. though we just needed some help getting up here his eyes look a little bit more sternly towards you all, and he goes, What? Not that we would ever do it, but yeah, this no, is no, what this, 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 the bossom, this the bossom, the bossom, the bossom character, the bossom, 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 the is this for certain? Yeah, I don't know. We literally, we literally met with him in person, and he cut off Chip's finger. By the it's way, that's Chip, and that's certain. Ollie. Oh, hi. He, I, they weren't there in in the office. They were somewhere else. We're not going to talk about that right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, he literally cut off Chip's pinky as like a form of trust, so that he knew we would do it. I mean, no. we didn't. We're not going to. This isn't but. something that. I would lie about either, nor is anything else ever. Gillian, you wouldn't lie about anything. <laughs> I just... I know a boss. I, I mean, I just don't understand what motive he would have to have the king, especially the young one, killed. Hey, I mean, that's not really... Uh, we didn't ask too many questions, actually. <laughs> yeah, we didn't actually ask any questions. Isn't it all just about power for people up here? Kind of assumed, yeah. I yeah, wasn't really too... too Concerned. I was a grandma at the time. You know, dementia. Mmm, dementia. It just doesn't make any sense. Makes perfect sense to me. Men seeking power <sighs> tale as old as time, yes? I suppose. So you don't know where I could get a new pinky. You're out of luck. You really need it that badly. Jay, it's my pinky! Yeah, and you've been fine so okay, far. I mean, fine. You don't need one. Give me yours. No. You wanted a pinky <laughs> that badly. Why did you tell me to cut it off? I had a plan! <laughs> I'm sure a prosthetic could be made. Like a robot pinky? Would it be like really strong? Could I shoot it out of my hand and then grab on stuff? Like a grapple pinky. Look, I just... He's not the king when we're out here. That's not my job to be out and about and I don't ever... I don't really live the king's side so I've been in the castle just as much but with my knowledge people won't be too kind. They might not be too kind. So just... He's a regular boy, and I'm just a well-dressed friend. Wouldn't they recognize you, though? 
You guys don't have to talk about me like I'm not here, says the king, who uh, kind of um, uh, yeah, right. turns away from the window. I accidentally opened my pocket knife, but that was that noise, my bad. <laughs> I was like trying to move, and I went... <laughs> um, but he turns his head towards everybody. I want to kneel down. Hey, buddy. What's your name? <laughs> he looks at you with the most disinterested, emotionless face. Okay. And I, I get up and like walk back. This is my first time out. If you're not a king, I apologize for being so forthcoming. Who are you then? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you asked. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, you know, I, I am like Gillian Tide Strider, right. champion of the undersea, hero of the You're deep. The deep. The, honestly, yeah. I've said it enough today. I mean. You, can, no, you gotta yeah, finish yeah. it now. You can't start it without finishing it. You're right. It. You're right. I'll start again. Hang on. Let me get it right this time. <clears throat> yeah. Ollie speaks uh, here up. Here we go. At horse tamer. Here we go. Yep. Horse, get up on your hind legs when I say it. Here we go. <laughs> Gillian Tide Strider, champion of the deep. Oh, no, nope. hang on. Champion, champion of the, the undersea, hero, hero of the deep. Hero of the deep. Of. Uh, Singer songwriter. What else did I do? He, singer singer songwriter. songwriter of <laughs> on his single, holding your heart. Hit your single. Heart. Defenestrator yeah. of the adulterous, slayer mm -hmm. of evil, yeah. knighter of of Julian that one time. You did do that. Oh man, are you okay, Gillian? Fish. Gillian, you seem kind of out of it. You've got good defenses <clears throat> on that, on that castle there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, those hey, robots are fucking terrifying. I thought I was. I, Listen, I saw Abdul turn to ash. <laughs> he was he was holding on to me and he turned to ash. Yeah, There's still yeah, okay. some on my collar. Oh and it, shit. All right, oh Jay. God. No need to be dramatic, all right? Just he calm down. To, he turned to ash. Jesus. Mr. Watts speaks I, I up. Was, I want to like grab her, grab her head. It's okay. It's okay, Jay. And like pet her head. She's crazy. <laughs> she sees things. I'm looking at the king, like making everything. a making a face, like you know, turning my finger around my my forehead. I punch, I punch Chip. <laughs> no, yeah, take it, take it out. All the anger, all the anger, take it out. <laughs> they're built to be extremely powerful gods, and they're only activated if the king is in danger. How you got rid of them, I am extremely impressed and surprised. How did we get rid of them? The king, uh, Leon. I, I I tried to give commands when we were falling in my mind, I guess. I don't know if it helped. They're supposed to listen to the acting king. They you were talking to me about I was my... pretending to be you. <laughs> well, if we're not huh. all ash, maybe it worked at least a little. But um if if this man he looks at his retainer, Mr. Watts, he said boss? The bo the Blossom Boss, if he's trying to have us all killed, um, even if I'm gone, or once my brother returns, I'm uh, he'll just take the seat. That's he. I'm I'm only standing as king because he's he wasn't here when Father died. Where is your brother? I don't know. Out on some trip. Something oh. about I don't know. Maybe economics. Diplomacy. How long has he been gone on this trip? A month, maybe. Oh, he died that recently? Pretty recently. So, I've only read stories about pirates. I've never seen any. Are they yeah, supposed to be... Yeah, here we are. In the flesh. They're supposed to be thieves and... Killers. We would never... What? We would never... <laughs> do that. <laughs> they are? <laughs> No, we're we're pirates for good. We um, should rebrand. We, we're, we're not rebranding, Gillian. We're pirates, okay? I'm just a twelve year old. I'm uh, yeah, he is that. But he's also a pirate. And he did very good today. We're not we're not we're more just boys at sea. Holly blushes and looks down. <laughs> yeah, boys at sea, sure. <laughs> Yeah, boys at sea. <laughs> is she also one of the boys? Yes. <laughs> Undoubtedly. Of course she is. Pointing at Jay. <laughs> How dare you. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. Yeah, I don't think we have the whole pirate thing down entirely, but 
Personally, I think we're doing great. And I mean, we haven't pissed our pants yet. For, well, yeah, that's like rule one in the pirate yeah, that's rule one. <laughs> it's the only one. <laughs> that's the only now, thing there's that others. Code. That's just the first one. What's the oh, other ones? What are they? The other... So I'll... I'll I don't want to, you know, mess up any of the, the verbiage in there. Let me let me get the book and get, yeah. get back to you. Right. The pirate book. Pirate book. The pirate book. book. The, the pirate. I, I Every my pirate copy of Matt to, has uh, been illiterate. To Lizzie. Yeah. Oh, Lizzie, we... How long has it been? <laughs> it's been like three nights. days. <laughs> hey, yep. Gil, do you still have that, uh, the conch? Yes, I do. I <laughs> call Caspian every night. I pull out the conch, uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna use it to, I guess, get in touch with, I don't think I have Lizzie's number, but I have, Ca um, I have Caspian, so I'll give him another <laughs> Lizzie's <moment>. number on <laughs> number. the show. <laughs> <laughs> boop, 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 boop. It picks up. Whoa. Uh, hello, Gillian. Oh, I assume yo. that's you. No one else calls this often. It's me again, How Caspian. How are you doing, my friend? Just checking <laughs> in. Um, I don't know if I made it clear in, in all my other calls, but uh, we're still alive. We took the <laughs> king. Oh! Um, oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank. Here, I'll just, I'll just put you on speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone can hear him. Oh, Hi, Caspian. Caspian. Uh, hello. Hi. Friends, we just wanted to check in and make sure. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's my horse. <laughs> a horse. Oh, you don't want to know what he said. <laughs> well, um, things are, are are going well. Do you know when you're planning to leave? Or is that a few nights away? I mean, <clears throat> we we're might already be, about two we days might behind. Be deep in a conspiracy. Um, and it, uh, murder may be attempting on our lives here soon, so I think we're gonna have to sort of wade through that first. Um, I give it two I, days tops. I think if at all times that, well, what, let's say one and a half, I think for this guy. Okay, huh. yeah, yeah one fair. and a half. Hey, uh, Caspian, I need you to do something for me. Oh, right, Chip, you know, usually I would love to help. We are all friends after all. However, we're about two days ahead. We said sail already. What? Um, this is a bit Wait, awkward. What? You didn't say anything. I tried to mention, but you know, between all of the spews of the glory days, that you know, the the nightly calls and talking about your dreams and the horse ritual, I uh, just slipped the mind a little bit. Well, that would have been great to know. Um, glad that we were stuck in the strange island with no, no. Back up. Um, well, of course, we have a Lizzie on the phone, say. on the show. <laughs> Put it on speaker, Caspian, so we can all talk to each other. Stop, yeah, right, just, just, on. On I just got a you know a couple couple of words to get off. I want to. All right, drone speaker. What do you have to say? From from Gillian. Hey, Lizzie. Hey, pal. What's up, my friend? What's up? No, what is up? That is the question. Oh, that's the question. Hope you've had safe travels so far. Safe travels, Out yeah. There. I hope the travels have been super safe. Yeah, it's been great. I mean, what's taking so long? <laughs> Captain, <laughs> Captain Lizzie responds. Oh, you stole know, all just the money. saving lives and all that. Just, just hero stuff. Do you, you always know? bite your nose into every town's business that you arrive in? What? Yes, that's none of your business, Lo, huh? We, but your nose yeah, is we, ours. We we do that. We do that very often. I have to. Yeah. Smell what did the you evil. leave? It's it's in our pirate code. What? What do you mean? Why did I fucking leave? I mean, Chip? why did you leave? Did I owe you to stay on this island? You know what we came for. We came. We dropped off the sick people and we got going. We have to save somebody. You owed me a goodbye at least. One of my crew members is currently imprisoned. If you don't remember correctly, and every night that you spend helping out some rich. Kingdom as another night that he spends. Oh, hey, hey. Close I'm to not the helping out the block. kingdom. I stole their money. Okay? <laughs> I was what? giving back to the poor <laughs> <laughs> the retainers. Says... <laughs> Lizzie, no. I gotta go. <laughs> um just Kiss Kip, you comes did back what? on. <laughs> Bye! Well I suppose we'll see you when you hey. get here. Hang it up, I'm hanging up, I'm hanging up. How do you hang him sing up? Hang right. sing up. Well, I suppose we'll see. Oh, I'm just like tapping my foot. <laughs> this train's taking a long time. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> eventually, after a, a few more minutes, about 15 more minutes of awkward silence, you guys rode for about, you know, half an hour or closer to 45 minutes, whatever I said before that I totally forgot. Uh, you get <laughs> back to the Blossom District, and you all step out of the train one by one, and you come on uh, to a very similar looking platform. It's uh, it's it's basically like the station, but you can tell that it's it's the opposite side of where you entered the uh, uh, the Blossom District. It seems to be a little bit smaller as well. And in here, um, you guys can go ahead and roll a perception check. Jay, you don't need to with your passive perception. Awesome. Using the, I'm using pretzels, baby. 21. 19. Okay. God, I perceive everything. And I so, do it first. <laughs> all three of you, not your not your companions, but all three of you, <laughs> as the horse steps off the train, you look around and you all immediately right. notice a hulking black metal warforged figure in this long black leather coat, sort of pacing around this uh, around this, this this station, this platform as you guys exit, uh, surveying and. As you look around, noticing that this is a, a, a the, the Warforged that was tagging along Alphonse when they uh, took you to the, the boss, uh, you notice there are, are, are also more suspicious figures than normal that are sort of keeping an eye out as well. That's not good. Yeah, no shit. Hey, I have no spell slots or anything. I can't use any more spells today. No, I'm, no almost, spells. What? I'm almost out too, and this very heavily smells of mischief and evil. No, that's hey, the, the uh, same robot that brought us to the... We can't bring the king there. I have fog cloud. Maybe if Chip made a deceptive fart sound as I cast it, we could slip by. Killian, that is awful. Let's do that right now. All right. I'm going right, to cast like it on three. One, two, uh, uh, uh. three. <laughs> All right, so what's happening right now? I don't cast it yet. I let him make the whole sound. <laughs> uh. Go. <laughs> I, I cast it as soon as he's made the full, like, absolute wet fart sound. Then I go, I'm going to go ahead and cast... Uh, fog cloud and just make this radius of fog. He just fucking ripped it. Uh, and as soon as you, <laughs> as soon as you finish the noise, work, all chip. heads in this platform that were suspiciously looking around look towards your direction and <laughs> this fog cloud erupts. Um, what's the plan here? Are you guys moving in this fog cloud? Uh, yeah, I yes. want to stealthily move through the fog cloud. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, same. I want to make sure that I've got, um, I, if not eyes, feelers on the uh, on the king and Gareth here, just so I know where mm -hmm. everyone is. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 sort of ushering along the the, the, the retainer, Mr. Gareth Watts, who is holding the hand of the young king, and Ollie is with you guys. You do not have Alphonse nor. Uh, I think we need to use Puddle again. Abdul. Ah, so, good idea. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll some uh, stealth checks, all of you. Yeah. Unless you get on the uh, horse, I you wanna, can't really do that. No, I, I don't want to get on the horse. I want to say. Puddle, run that way. And I want to slap Puddle's ass. No. All he says. Puddle! <laughs> you, right. again. you can't let him go again. again. He just oh, came he back. really just get him back. That's a that's technically just... a distraction, right? Would that would that count as advantage? I don't know. Why would um, you, you, who would know? Slut Charlie, do you send him <laughs> off cuz you command the, the horse? Uh yeah, I do. Hey, I have a really fun idea. Um, yeah. I cast I cast Fulminous uh, Smite when I slap him on the ass so he gets charged with electricity and he goes running off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you'll see you'll see what that does. You'll see what that does. All right. Um, I'll say you do that. It just happens. You don't have to roll for it because uh, he's your horse. He's gonna do what you say. No 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 way to spook him. I roll my. Uh, he starts running off in the opposite direction. Also, and let me see if uh... I got a zero on stealth. Good. Oh good. my god. Advantage, Wait, please. Do we get advantage? advantage? Distraction, come on. I do roll. I roll defaultly with disadvantage, so, yeah. You can roll still with advantage. I rolled... Yes! I rolled, I rolled, I rolled another natural one. This is carrying it's, it's, over oh to God. the next session, bro. Okay, I got I'm a rolling 19. with advantage. I roll, I, I mean, flat, I rolled another two. That's going to be another zero, boys. Let's freaking let her okay, in. Okay, I got a 16. It's a group cell check, so... <laughs> Gillian, Gillian has, makes his presence known because he can't stop laughing at the fart. So. No, I don't. I don't do that. I'm not. I'm not laughing at the fart. 
<laughs> What's the roll? 14. What did Jay roll? The fart was in funny. And Chip got a 16. <laughs> yep. Okay. So <laughs> you only sounds. needed to make one <laughs> fart sound, Chip. Hey, Why do hey, you Gil, keep hey, doing it? Hey, Gil. Gil, Gil, Gil. Just keep it down. The problem is this cloud follows you where you go, right? Yes. <laughs> Completely inconspicuously. <laughs> it seems like uh, most of the the grunts, uh, the the just the, the variety of of suspicious people, like just regular like humanoids and whatnot, that that isn't the big hulking warforged, uh, get distracted by the horse and begin to the, to yell and call each other over and and signal and follow that horse and start to to, to chase it, thinking that it might be. Uh, one of you. However, into this fog cloud, you hear the sounds of clinking chains uh, and, and almost kind of like an explosive torpedo uh, eject oh. as uh, Gillian, you have to make a strength check. Does he have to roll to hit me with this or no? It's a grapple. 19. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Pretty good. Okay, hold on. Yeah. All right, hold on. Okay. I gotta, I gotta roll it. I gotta roll it. I gotta roll it. Uh-huh. Got Natural one. Everyone attacks with disadvantage in this. You roll nineteen. Yep. All right, you good? Yeah. No, one below that. Oh. Lucky. So there's this uh, this large uh, uh, black steel hand tries to wrap around your your shoulders and back from behind and uh, somewhat from a distance. It's it's about it's about like forty ish feet. Uh, you would guess because uh, as it starts like reel back, uh, missing you, you you manage to to completely just shrug Jillian it off. Is just too moist and you guys and uh, you guys you guys start <laughs> running or you want to keep stealthing here because you're pace you're basically giving away your position somewhere in the fog cloud now nah, we're so as long as the fog cloud moves well all they know is that we're in it right they don't know where mm -hmm. in it we are can we like mm -hmm. can we like pull it up next to an alley go into the alley and move the fucking fog cloud the other way <laughs> i don't know um, do you guys what do you want to i don't think we could because it's centered yeah. on a point. At this point, you start to hear like the sound of the the metal hitting the ground as this uh, this this war forge is starting to, to move towards okay, the fog. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm um, gonna call Puddle back, uh, and what? if I can get Puddle to have all the uh, all the all these enemies around him, I want to release the Fulminous Smite. So what it does is basically causes everyone within five feet of Puddle to have to make a Dexterity saving throw. So I'm gonna bring Puddle back in and try and uh, try and jolt these people. And then we're gonna try and move past him. I think just run fast him. Uh, what do, so I'm what using do, what do, I'm using puddle as a giant horse taser. Okay, what does that? What do they need to roll? Dexterity saving throw. Group. Dexterity saving throw. I rolled 15. What's the DC? Uh, DC's 15, so they pass. Okay. They're, yeah. they're they fine. take half. No, I don't take anything. Bro, I rolled again just to see, and I rolled another natural one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, if they all if they all get a 15, no, they don't take anything. Uh, but puddle. Just starts convulsing. I guess. Here, I'll split them into two groups and say one group has a natural one and the other group has a fifteen. Okay. 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 That that Multiple one people. group. Uh, that one group takes five lightning damage. What's the plan? That was crazy. Uh, we're. I. I mean, run. Let's just headed? let's just run. Okay. We're running. You guys start uh, head running in an aimless direction. Do you have any idea of where you want to go? Oh, uh, we want to go to the lower floor, yeah, right? Yeah. No, I, I want to go to. Uh, I want to. I want to take them to. Oh, oh shit. shit. We probably got to do something about the boss, huh? Yeah, but I think that this is more his domain, right? So Yeah, well, this is the bo this is the blossom district. You get the district. feeling that they are they are stationed all around this district at the moment in search for you know, our favorite pirates. Yeah. Okay. So, so we just wanna, have to get out of this district to the post office. Excellent. Okay. All right then. Uh go ahead just roll it cuz your your vision is obscured by the fog cloud unless you drop it at some point. I'm not gonna drop it yet because it's gonna make it harder for them to hit us. So. Okay, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll a, a, a survival check, Chip. Uh, 19. Okay, I'll say 19 is enough to be able to figure out your way back by looking at the floor and and uh, and uh, and basically kind of piecing together clues of, of where you've walked past before to get back to the the, the post office. However, um. As Chip starts to find his way towards the post office and Gillian shrugs off the metal hand, you're currently being pursued by uh, the, the the big, the the black steel, I don't think you guys ever got his name, uh, but the, the other warforged in that duo that was uh, the guarding the Blossom Bloss. The Blossom 
boss. I'll get it one day. It's my we own character. Don't, we still are not sure what this guy's name is. But. Yeah, I, okay, can you tell me definitively once what you're actually trying to say? The Blossom Boss. Blossom Boss. He has a real name. But you, everyone no, but, calls him the Blossom Boss, okay? okay. I don't know what, you had just said Blossom Blossom so many times that I just I considered didn't know that to be I was it. like, is it Blossom Blossom? Is it Blossom it's Blossom? It's Blossom Boss. Okay, blossom, anyways, everybody blossom, roll initiative. Boss, in the rules of a okay. chase, <laughs> you can, in, the rules of an, in the rules of a chase, you can only take one action and one move, okay? Blossom Blossom Blossom. Have you ever argued with your DM so much that he makes you roll initiative? <laughs> <laughs> roll initiative, everybody, and tell me what you get. You Natural can take one. one action, one I move. Bonus nice. actions are not permitted. Um, you guys are. You can freely use the dash action three Four. times plus your Constitution modifier for every usage of dash afterwards. You have to make. You have to pass a Constitution check, okay? okay. Or gain level okay. of exhaustion. We're gonna I chase rolled, through I the rolled a th floor. I roll the floor. I rolled a twenty. All right. One or well, seven. Through the Blossom District. <laughs> Dude, I rolled a natural. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. What is Holy happening? Get, get a different die. Get a different. I die. was using a different dice. I'll put this one there, okay? You heard me earlier. I put the one I over there. It. I've got two more d20s, and if they roll natural one, I quit. <laughs> if I, I have two more quit. options now, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to call my my boy Puddle, my horse, and mount my steed. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. first up is Jay. Well, wait. Is the is the horse going to be there with us? Not until it's my turn, I don't think. Okay, I want to get the king on the horse with Gillian, absolutely, but I think I will hold that action until the horse is here, if that's cool, while uh, while running. As far as my movement goes, I'm going to stick with Chip. Hey, hey. Okay. Hey, hey. You're holding the... Uh... <laughs> so I'm holding an action to like help the king onto the horse to be with Gillian, basically. Okay, so I um <clears throat> once once the horse gets there, I want to. I'll, how many people can we get on the horse? Uh, probably just three max. Yeah, I was gonna say three. three usually max, just um, usually just two on a horse, but it's a war <clears throat> horse, so three. Okay. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah you could totally I mean, fit three makes, on a horse. That makes sense to me. Okay, I have a plan. Uh, um, Ollie J, you, you stick with me. Uh, how about uh, Gillian? You you try and get them out of here. Okay, I'm with it. Will do. No more farting while I'm gone. No guarantees. And <laughs> no promises. <laughs> um, and you then I want to use <laughs> use my action to uh, to get the retainer up on the uh, the horse. Okay, so you guys aren't technically running yet. Well, I'm uh, yeah, I'm running, but I'm I'm using. We're my using our to movement, but we're not dashing. Yep. I got yeah. you. All right, then. Uh, Gillian, what you doing? So I, I believe that, that Jay and Chip just got the uh, the retainer and the king on the horse? Yes. Essentially, You're up next. Idea, yeah. Cool. I am also going to get on the horse. Horse is going to dash, baby. Let's get to the mail. Gillian, you Save. start you start running, uh, dashing forward. Dashing on, on your turn. My horse is dashing. I'm not dashing. Right. Your horse is dashing. Okay, on your turn. God, uh, as you were dashing, dashing through uh, through this kind of uh, this I want to say like almost it's not like residential but it's kind the of like uh, dashing, like hotels and taverns and, <laughs> and and whatnot it's the hotel tavern section of the entertainment uh, or the blossom district uh and as you, you guys are running through it about halfway through about 60 feet as you guys are, are dashing uh through the district a a, a a door swings open in a nearby building and someone gets pushed out and they sort of block immediately in the road and then another another larger human jumps out of this and starts a, a, a rush Toward the, the the person that they, they they just pushed out, and they're about to punch him. Uh, that being said, you have uh you can either make a strength like athletics or acrobatics or intimidation of your choice uh, to get past them un unimpeded. Oh mm. great! Uh, I'm gonna uh, and try if, and if do, it's your uh, if it's your if you do athletics or acrobatics, it's your horse. Yeah, intimidation so is you. I want to do intimidation just for the fear factor of the horse just like whipping its neck and just looking at this man. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Go ahead and roll it. Go ahead and roll it. Uh, that is going to be a 15. 15 is what you needed. What do you say? <laughs> Did you say anything? Well, I mean, he hears. <laughs> uh, all he, all you all and Chip are, <laughs> are too far behind. They translate. Did Chip, what he, Chip, what do you say? <laughs> uh. He, he just he just said he wanted a burger. Are you sure? I could have sworn I heard him say no refills. You heard ah! you you heard him, villain. 
Anyways. Give us a burger! <laughs> the large burly man who's about to jump on and start pounding the shit out of this other person they threw out of this, like, tavern-ish kind of, like, like swing saloon doors uh, immediately is frozen in his tracks as he sees this burling seahorse uh, dashing through the town and just frozen. Uh, and you make it through unimpeded without uh, any... Does he give uh, me a burger? No, you don't get any burgers. You guys, uh... All here, from behind, as this, uh, this construct, this warforged, huge, huge, by the way, huge man, uh, is is uh, getting closer. Uh -oh. uh, I would say he's about now that he has taken his turn to dash, he's going to be forty feet away from the person in the very back, which I believe is going to be Jay and Chip. Chip, Chip and Jay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be just kind of in the back. All right, Jay, any ideas? Um, what are we trying to do? Distract them? I uh, will lose them somehow. Okay. Well, um, first of all, let's make sure Gillian's safe, and I'm gonna reach into my pocket. I'm assuming it's my turn, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I reach into my pocket and I pull out a small little like metallic uh, pebble-looking thing, right? And I kind of flip it up and I press a button on it, and it f launches towards this guy, and I try to hit him with it to kind of like get his attention on us. Okay. Uh, go ahead oh, and roll hit. That is a 22 like hit. A flare. 22, 22 hits. Uh, and that's nine damage total. All right. Just pelt some of the forehead. All right, yeah, you get his attention for sure. You hit him, he takes damage. So his small, tiny dent in his metal forehead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I got his attention. Oh, where's he? Uh, <laughs> all right, now what? Um, uh, You're the one with the plan. You, <laughs> as you hit him, steam exhales from uh, all of the orifices, as I have said before, <laughs> underneath the coat. Oh, you want to do the hot wall? The what? The what? Uh, All he says. And I, I pull out an oil flask and a and a and a, and a, a match matchbook. The hot wall. Yeah, sure. Chip. Woo! Let's, do Let's the go. Hot wall. All right, Ollie. So what, what we're gonna do wall? is we're gonna find a small area and then we're gonna put down this oil and light it up. Okay. I want to hand the the oil to um to to ollie and just say all right when we go down a small alley i want you to put this down and like just behind you i'm gonna jump over it and light it but, um you can do this he's a robot chip how is fire gonna hurt him i don't know man it'll, it'll distort his vision fast enough we just need to oh. break line of sight maybe maybe miss j should split off and go a different direction and we go to the left with the fire uh sure jay think you can yeah. get away Okay, sure. Um, I'm gonna climb a building. Can I climb a building? <laughs> I wanna get on a roof. <laughs> These buildings are extremely tall. Oh man. Um, so, and they they Good. extend high up, <laughs> to, the, almost almost cool. endlessly, uh, yeah. from here. So you oh. could you could climb and, and try and like, uh, you'll basically have to just roll an acrobatics check. Is there any like this low hanging be balconies? Yeah, you'll you'll be jumping from like balcony to balcony essentially, like being on like. Yeah. Uh, almost like Assassin's Creed being in Rome. Yes, that's what yeah, I was imagining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's no a 13 tops. acrobatics. One step, head of the bread line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be all right. Okay. So yeah, then I start, I start climbing the building then. Um, uh, okay. I'm gonna try to like keep above where Chip and Ollie are just for like additional support in case. All right, so Not, uh, like, what, what are you wanting Ollie to do? He throws the, uh, he throws the oil flask down. <clears throat> Oh uh, yeah, I as wanted soon as to you throw guys the cut... oil flask down as soon as we cut a corner into a smaller, like, area. Gotcha. Alright. As you guys cut this corner uh, into an alley, you've successfully, uh... <laughs> got his attention, and his attention is now no, no longer- he's no longer following or has his attention on Gillian, uh, the king, and the retainer. Uh, you would notice that Gillian on your turn as that comes up, but before your turn, as you guys cut into this alley, there's an immediately this almost like staircase maze of barrels and crates and obstacles that stand in your way. Uh, mm -hmm. You and Ollie, not Jay, because Jay is above you guys, you're gonna have to make a, uh, a dexterity or acrobatics check, or an intelligence check, if you want. You're not gonna do that though, because you're Chip. No, Chip <laughs> would not do no that. No offense. Um, I'll roll for Ollie, you roll for yourself. Okay, Ollie's cool. He rolled 16. Nine. Nine? Yeah. Yikes. You Don't failed. laugh like that. <laughs> you failed! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we got can we, it! Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, Free! Chip! Can, so, can we say that when he threw down the oil, I stepped in it and now I'm slippy? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, he's gonna throw it at the end of your turn, right? Yeah, 
at the end yes. of his turn. So he, he so he rushes forward of, uh, in front of you. He's a lot faster than you were expecting. And he hops almost like a feline cat on one crate and above the other crate and, uh, crate, and then sort of like uh, jumps over it. And then you lose sight. And then as he hits the ground on the other side, you fucking slip and fall into these crates and, and kind of barrel through <laughs> them. You take 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Holy shit. Oh my god. And uh, uh, as splinters and all kinds of stuff. Uh, and then as, as you do that, uh, Ollie goes, Oh shit! And then he panic throws the uh, the oil flask behind I'm you. I'm good. Right between you and the uh, the the construct who was following. So yeah, I wanted to I wanted to use my action to, to light this match, but I wanted to like jump through the fire and it looked really cool. Well, you fell. Okay. Well, <laughs> then I don't. Cool. Well, you <laughs> fell. <laughs> Then I light it and it's really boring. I love it's Dungeons really and Dragons. I love it. I can't wreck on everything I just said. <laughs> you can go on the other side of it and then jump through it. As no, you... it's fine. The fire's <laughs> lit. We're moving on. Next up, Gillian. <laughs> okay. Uh, I feel like something really upsetting just happened. I, uh, I, I'm gonna keep. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going on my steed. Of All course. Right. Towards the towards where I assume the post office is from ship's direction. You go ahead and, and make a uh, uh, a survival check with advantage to see okay. if you, uh, you remember survival, ship's direction. Survival, survival, survival. May the spirit of Chibo guide me. Oh, nineteen. Your brain. Look out, King. This lady likes to shit in them. The packages. She shits you, in the packages. You recall where to go. You will be able to arrive there at full speed on your next turn. However, as you are, are, are riding through uh, the uh -oh. the district, the road starts to get a little bit narrower, and the pipes that kind of crawl up the buildings and go and like uh, and, and sort of form like archways and overhangs. One of them is a lot lower than expected, <laughs> and uh, you are on top of this horse heading right towards it. Go ahead and make a. Uh, you can either make a deck save or strength save. A deck save to dodge, <laughs> a strength save to barrel through. Surely a strength save. <laughs> I knew what he was gonna do. Natural twenty. Oh my, oh my god, god, dude! I just can't <laughs> stop you. Bro. Every good king needs a god. I fucking headbutt it and it just dents. <laughs> <laughs> this pipe splits open and steam goes, sort of almost creating this wall of smoke behind you in this narrow, this narrow road uh, as you continue to dash through and make your way back to the main. Uh, area of the entertainment district and find your way to the postal office on your next turn top of the round or not top of the round but now it is the construct's turn who runs through a wall of fire jumps through it and it looks so fucking cool <laughs> but <laughs> of course god this guy's so awesome he should join our team <laughs> really upset about this. I wish this, we guys. had someone that did this kind of thing. Really upset I wish we had somebody this, like, yeah, just, really just, cool like, and awesome. It fills awesome. a niche that we really, don't kind of have you're already. Jokes, you know what I mean? You're making jokes. There is pain within me. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> you're inflicting it. You're that's inflicting awesome. pain on me. This guy's good. However, made of steam as he is, he does fail the deck save on running through the fire. Um, he takes some damage, but as he does. His, uh, his arm sort of like uh, the, the mechanisms and like the plates sort of shift and form or transform into a, almost like a, like a, a, an open oval shape, like a cannon uh, and out of it, uh, or, or not out of it, he shoves it into an open pipe on one of the walls as you guys are running towards, uh, running forward. And basically he shoots something into it and something else comes out the other side, and you guys run right into the other side. Okay, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do it. Anyways, thought, well, it's okay, because I thought he was going to turn into a jet. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know how to explain it, bro. My imagination sees it, but is the it like, words is it don't like a come wall out. in front of us, or like, or of them, or like, what's the you deal? You guys are you're running in this alley, right? Uh huh. So yep. since Jay is above, you won't have to roll for this. Um, but you roll on your turn. You need to roll for some uh, for something else. Uh, yeah. but Chip and Ollie need to roll. My bad. Need to roll dexterity saving throws. Dexterity save. As you're running throws. and and all of a sudden an open pipe uh, shoots out this very hot steam uh, right in front of you. Oh. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty is very good. You love I'm you love cool. I do it. it. I grab oh, onto the you hot need pipe. Natural twenty, bro. I, I grab onto the hot <laughs> pipe and I do a front wow, flip Ollie, over Ollie the did over it the so heat. Much cooler, uh, uh, Ollie is so much cooler. Uh, dude, shit. Shut oh my up. God. <laughs> See that from Ollie? Holy I would shit, love, dude. I would love to hear what you and Ollie, Ollie do to avoid this cool. together. Yeah, uh, I will probably like. He will grab me and kind of like give me a leap up, and I'll go over. He'll go under. 
Can I like can I like reach down from my balcony and try to grab Chip's hand so he swings? Like <laughs> like yeah, I grab onto Jay's hand and kind of like <laughs> land. Ollie grabs me back down and helps me back down to the ground so I can keep running. Sure, Ollie rolled natural twenty. Anything is possible. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All and right. He, and he and he finds a thousand gold on the ground. <laughs> Whoa, that's so <laughs> awesome, Ollie. You're so and cool. He, and, and he pulls awesome. the robot's pants he does not down. Fall. He doesn't. No. Well, that might happen. Well, who knows? Woo! Um, Woo! You guys are about to cut a corner here at the top of the round with Jay. Uh, go ahead and roll another acrobatic check to stay keep your footing here. As you uh, have to turn this corner, it's a much harder leap. Kind of have to round it. You know, some parkour shit. I mean, what you get? Yeah. Yeah. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Jay! Oh, you're this is a perfect opportunity to roll from the system shock table. <gasps> oh, God, ah! no. I have a concussion. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Don't. Just roll from the system shock table. Would it? Would it, though? Would it be fun? Well, Would a it natural be fun? 20, he, he, pay, he grabs Jay in his players. arms. And his big, big muscular arms. Swoon. Oh. Condi, go ahead and roll a D10. Uh oh, a D10. Uh -huh. that's not good, Condi Fiction. D10 or 100. Right. What is Condi gonna get on this roll? Roll a D10 100 times. I, got a I meant two. to say, go ahead and roll a D20 instead. Oh, <laughs> you just can't catch a break. I <laughs> uh, sure can't. That's a 13. A 13? Unlucky number. Wow. It is. so oh, fuck. For some reason, you you misplace your footing as these uh, uh, maybe damp by the moisture in the air or, or the nearby steam. Uh, uh, for some reason, high. as you turn the corner, the uh, you can't get a foothold and you slip on a slick surface and you start falling down towards uh, uh, the, 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 this this alleyway that you guys are in. And as you do, you fall into an, uh, a bent outward pipe and it, it creates this 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 large gash, uh, uh, ripping your your pants and, and, and sort of digging into your thigh. Um, Ow. I'd like to deploy my pocket bed. A what? I have a bedroll in my pocket. Let me deploy it. God, what do you mean deploy a <laughs> pocket bed? How can you do what? It'll break, Anyways. It'll break my okay, fall. Pocket so, bed dude, sounds awesome, This, though, this that, leaves that, a that's grievous that's... wound uh, that begins to bleed like profusely. Oh, shit. Um, oh, shit. Where's Gillian when you need him? Yeah, um, on a horse. Okay, so... anyway, here, let me act that out. Uh, whoop! <laughs> oh god, my leg! <laughs> on your <laughs> on your next turn, you'll take uh, damage equal to the amount of blood loss, which will be a bit. Okay, that's good. Yeah, uh, hey Chip, I'm just bleeding profusely. Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> unless it is healed. So you're able to, uh, to keep up though and, and, and continue running. Uh huh. Uh, Chip, you're up next. Okay, yeah, I wanna I wanna help up Jay and and kind of like. Uh, it was really cool. How you guys helped Ollie be awesome, and then <laughs> and then uh, I died. Then I died. Jay fell in. Yeah. Jay fallen. <laughs> <Jay> fell <in. laughs> uh, Criminal. <laughs> I want to shout to Ollie. Ollie, just get ahead and find a place to hide. Oh, okay, what's the plan? Uh, that's the only plan for you for no. now. Uh, are we gonna try and lose it? Uh, yeah. Just okay. meet us at the post office, okay? All right. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Jay up to. Yeah, you guys are still running together, Ugh. just yeah, kind yeah. of limp mm -hmm. running. Yeah. So if we're if I'm dashing with with her, um, does that would that be like, can she dash right now? Am I yeah? Am I able to dash? Yeah. What's the goal? Um, uh, what's the plan run. here? Okay. What what are you trying? To, are you trying to lose the? Uh, yes. Yes. Thing? Well, what are you trying I, to do I, to lose them? Probably. You guys, probably you basically, just you basically turn this corner. Uh, you did, I think you buy I'll, a little. Continue running with with um, Jay. Let Ollie lose the tail, and then the next turn I'll probably try and lose it. Hey guys, I got one. What about Jay? Not fair and well. No, it's, <laughs> I feel like it's no, too, just too much. Uh, no, I like it. Man. Yeah, I mean I like, it's good. Hey, it's know, good, but yeah, like you know, know it's too too soon. All right then, you guys continue to um to run. Run, yeah. No complications mm -hmm. this turn. Uh, however, the um, uh, because there was no attempts to hide on this turn, the construct, uh, the the nameless construct, turns the corner and continues to follow or pursue behind Gillian. Yes, Gillian. You and the king, the retainer, make it to the post office on this turn with your dashing. Okay. Um, 
And you're able to, uh, what do you want to do? You barge right in? Do you wait to see if Chip and, uh, and Ollie and, and Jay make it? Or? Uh, here's what I want to do. Uh, Puddle, you, you should be good down there. I don't think any of his men will be down there. But, Leon, Gareth, just wait down at the bottom of the chute. We'll be there. Blossom's men won't be down there watching you, so just stay discreet and you should be fine. The, the chute. That's what are you right. talking to about? The shit shoot. I, I blast in through the door <laughs> uh, and I say, I'm back! Oh dear. And I've <laughs> got a package! Uh, so you survive them, youngin'. That's right, and I've got a special request. How much postage for these two when I drop the fog cloud? Well, that depends. What? The baggage. <laughs> and she pulls out this, uh... Oh God, this, was... kind of, this kind of black machine gun uh, and what? slams it on the... on the, uh, on, on the counter and then puts what? a cigar in her mouth uh, or what? her beak. And she goes, Who's following? Um... Does anybody no? know you're here? Uh, most, if not all of Blossom's men. What is that? All right. You got about 30 seconds to get everybody in the chute before I start. You get the chute in everybody? Get to die. What? What? <laughs> I think it was a cool line. I wanted to take it somewhere for you. It's everyone getting the shooter. I'll get the shoot in everybody. Like, yeah. Stolen. Free of charge. I'll say it when the next ones come in. <laughs> All right, I trust you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stuff. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna get Puddle to leap into the shoot with these two. Um, on uh, <laughs> yeah. on the back, and then I'm gonna. I, I do want to use my movement to start running back towards Jay and Chip to make sure they're okay. Okay, <laughs> it would be a little difficult to find where they are, but you pick a random alley and hope it's the right one. <laughs> Let's go. All right, uh, but the the other two I'm sending down the chute so they're out of harm's way with the horse, so the horse can protect them because it's a horse. Yep, they all go willingly because this is a chase, and and they're bystanders, they're civilians. Sounds go. good. Okay, that's gonna be my turn then. Jay and I guess Chip, if you guys are basically going on the same uh, initiative the order. The same time, yeah. What uh, yeah. what are you doing to lose him? Um, if you're gonna lose him, like, does it seem like Ollie has has kind of gotten his way out of out of sight from this guy? From this I will construct? say that on the last turn, Ollie took a right and you guys took a left. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Construct um, is following you. Oh, yeah, sorry, Chip, yeah. we need we need to hide. I need to get this thing covered up. Okay, uh, you see almost kind of like a trash bin container. Uh, as soon as you take your turn, you guys jump into it. Roll your stealth check. Okay. Both of you. Too bad uh, you don't have pass on this race. Save the number, boys. Save the number, boys. Can I speak you know what to do. You know what to hey. do. Hey. Uh oh, it's another <laughs> control one. <laughs> I jump in and it gets septic into my in, in I get septic in my wound and I scream. Oh god. 18. With my natural one together, we have been found. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. 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 But 18 plus 1 is 19, guys. That's so good. <laughs> such a good roll. It's so, it's so good. And we're so it's such we're a good okay. number, though. We're so we win. We won the game. Jay, <laughs> Chip, where are you? <laughs> I put my nose to the ground, just and he compels me. Well, uh, as you're running down uh, alleyways and taking turns, um, you run right into Ollie as he passes you. He goes, "Oh, Gillian, oh, Ollie, they're, they're back there." The, the war the thing is chasing them the thing is chasing them which way that way he just points <laughs> destiny <laughs> hurry jay's injured head to the chute where do i go uh, i think you'll see you'll see her got it <laughs> go towards the scariest thing you see <laughs> but gillian that's you <laughs> ollie <laughs> he starts running. <laughs> okay, then I keep running. 
uh, I will say on this turn you're able to get right not to not not within like melee range or anything like that but you see down the alleyway lifting up this uh this 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 uh sort of like trash bin these two trash bins he only opens up one of them and in that one you can just see the color of the orange hair peeking oh, no. out as uh jay you look up and this <laughs> steam exhales once again <laughs> <laughs> this large black steel warforge in this black leather trench coat looking right down at you you've been caught it's now his turn. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Can I can I use like uh, my my action to shout something at her or uh, or anything or no? You have you do have one action. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I shouted him. Hey, buddy, why don't you pick on someone who's r roughly your sort of the same si who's may I mean who's over here? <laughs> Persuasion check. <laughs> I would say intimidation, but that was that was that was abysmal. I'm no, sorry. No, that was, yeah, that was very intimidating. <laughs> I was gonna say your own size, but um, my my cannon height still randomly shifts between five one and five nine. <laughs> Who knows where it actually is? Depends on if you have the platform. Seventeen on. persuasion. Okay. The eight inch oh. platforms. Oh damn. He turns his head to the right as he's holding up open this like lid. Uh, and he's looking directly at you, and you see the steam kind of uh, exhale, and the <laughs> eyes glow brighter or white, um, and, they, and the eyes turn this like reddish color, uh, or the light coming out of it. Uh, and it's the the voice is more robotic, though I won't filter it for us live, uh, and you can just hear Jay. You can hear right next to you. Mm -hmm. Found him. And then he just shuts the fucking uh, the, the trash bin that you're in uh, right on your face as it goes dark, uh, and uh, he starts moving towards you, Gillian. Come meet your destiny, you bigger <laughs> uh, trash Jay can. Jay just kind of stares, kind of like shell-shocked, a little scared, terrified of what could have happened. Why don't um, I open you up and see the person inside? Keep in mind, if you go for, you know, if you start attacking, we will we will go into normal combat. Um, so if you want to run, and, and uh, if you want to keep it a chase and try and lose him, you'd have to run. Uh, I'm pretty sure well, that's not, how it it's, works. It's not my turn anymore, though, right? So, no, nope. but, yeah. it's his turn. Uh, I say, but he only gets one action as he moves up closer to you. Gillian, this construct, his, you watch as his big arm uh, transforms from this sort of like, uh, kind of, I don't know, laser shape, laser shooter shape. Oh Stupid. God. And to an axe! Oh! <laughs> uh, I know what that is! it directly towards you. Go ahead and make a... Um, not dexterity, not dexterity, not dexterity, not dexterity, Anything not but dexterity. dexterity. Well, it is... It is dexterity, though. I Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll the hit. I missed the days when they needed to roll to hit me. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 23 to hit. Oh, yes. Okay. Why was that relief? From me? Yeah. It wasn't relief, it was more like, of course a 23 hits me. No, I just is that because you were talking about how you you didn't want to have to roll the dexterity so throw, you but take, then when he actually Well, then it's not my responsibility <laughs> when I when I fail. Yeah. yeah you okay. take... It's like, yeah, then it's now it's the DM yourself. doing it to me, it's not me doing it to myself, so it's fine. You take 12 points of slashing damage. Oh, there's goodness. a comfort in that. As well as... Nine points of fire damage. Oh, oh boy. Mm -hmm. Which is basically like hot steam damage. Ow. Why, does, goes, that why, does, that? why does that moisture sting? Ooh. You how bring is your, it, how uh, is your, it wet and bad? You bring your sword up. Uh, to deflect with the enemy, uh, his his strength is 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 something you did not expect. Uh, as it kind of like pushes your sword into your skin, Oof. and then his 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 the blade of his axe also slashes across your chest, uh, searing the skin at the edges as well, creating this kind of like black tarish wound. Okay, Jay's gonna hop out of the dumpster and like rip off her sleeve and try to tie it around her leg as a bandage, uh, to stop the bleeding, or at least. Gotcha. You know, a little bit. All right. Uh, um, I'll say, go ahead and make a medicine check, please. Oh yeah, I guess medicine exists. Please. In this game. Yeah, it does. This is also an action. Nineteen. Hey. Oh shit! Nineteen is awesome, man. Yay! Uh, I. <laughs> you can definitely <laughs> stop the wounds bleeding with this. Okay. You uh, you you have a feeling this is gonna leave one nasty scar. Ow. And now I'm missing a sleeve. 
And you're missing a sleeve. And your God jeans damn. are. Your, I mean, your pants are ripped. I guess you guys oh. are still wearing like the royal clothes. What a so. what a what a wardrobe disaster. Am I right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk your hair's about all messy. What a thing to be worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to uh, <clears throat> kind of get like peek out of the dumpster and see Gillian fighting this thing. God damn it. All right, get out. <laughs> <laughs> I grab Jay. I'm like, all right. Uh, I got one more trick up my sleeve. Yeah, um, I hope it's a good one. I want to I want to go up to this to this war force. I want to tap him on his left shoulder and move with Jay around his right shoulder and then have <laughs> and then I just say to say to Gillian, "All right, now run." He's a genius. Uh, Where'd that come from? I was I was following his. How's he so good at battle go strategy? Uh, I want to say just do perf performance. Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Performance. <laughs> do performance. performance it's, 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 a, it's a charisma thing. It's kind of deception performance. Natural twenty. Gonna, ah! It doesn't even matter yes! what you roll. Twenty nine. <laughs> All right, ah! dude. Twenty fucking nine. For yes! some reason, you're able to distract this man, this this construct man. Machine man, he's. I don't even know. I don't even. I don't know how to describe this, bro. It just works somehow. I love the <laughs> He's walking around in a circle. Like, where did he go? Oh, where I want it. Is no. it an action to put down my ball bearings? It's an action. I think it's usually a bonus this, section. You want to do this to a friend? What you? No, I want to. I want to put it down as uh, like as we're moving away, like between us. Behind and, us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, ball no. bearings. Let me just see. I think it's usually a bonus action was not allowed, but you can do bonus actions as an action because I say so. Nope, it's an action. Okay, and you just, I'll say you just did a free action. Go ahead. You can throw ball bearings. Yes. Okay. I gotta, yeah, we gotta I'll, end I'll, this. We gotta. We gotta get this. We yeah. gotta go. Okay, we gotta yeah, keep yeah. going. Okay, so I throw the ball bearings down in front of him, and then I just, I, we run. We run to the post office. Okay. <laughs> uh, Gillian, it'll be your turn. Did you do anything for your run? Gillian, yes I do. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to turn to him, um, and I am going to take my fucking sword, and my eyes are gonna glow, and my hair is gonna stand up, no. and my coal is gonna glow, and here uh -oh. I go, baby. I'm going to, I'm gonna use prophetic screw up. On camera here, we've we've changed the ruling for it a little, so it's more exciting. Um, if I roll a one through ten, it's a natural one, and something else bad happens. And if it's an eleven through twenty, it's a natural twenty. So let's see what we get here. I'll actually I'll roll it on D and D Beyond. Ah! Oh my god, dude! I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. You All think right. you've got steam? Well, I'm not out yet. <laughs> Hey, kill! That's a really bad idea. <laughs> You're going for a melee Trust weapon me, attack. Jay. It's my destiny. <laughs> I go for a uh, I go for an attack with glacial blade. So you see, as my sword ign uh, ignites with frost, and I slash towards him. This is melee. Yeah, it's melee. So Grizz gets to roll and see. So because what he rolled in the range of one to ten, he effectively rolls a natural one. Uh, which means I get to roll on the prophetic screw-up table that we have created here. Oh my god. <laughs> nightmare, 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 nightmare. Dude, this is the worst! You slip and lose your footing, Gillian! You fall Fuck. prone and you can't move this turn! <laughs> Gillian! Oh, fucking ball bearing, That's the worst idiot. one! You, you move a little too far as you go to strike him with the sword, then you just step all bearings that chip left behind, you immediately slip, no! and your glow dissipates, and the lightning goes away as you just fucking thrr, bonk noise onto the ground. <laughs> I oh just start, my god, I just start flopping like a fish. Chip, why? <laughs> why aren't you hit him? What are these <laughs> tiny traps and why are there so many? I, uh, I end my You're turn so on the ground. stupid! <laughs> it's his turn again. <laughs> How does this happen? Every time. <laughs> he has advantage against me because I'm brown. Yeah, I know, Ball dude. bearings are literally illegal in just rolled it from now on. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> nothing, ever, nothing good ever happens there when There was no come reason out. we were going to fight him or go that way. <laughs> but I had to it was see. Awesome. Come on, Why? I had to try. I had to try. For what? <laughs> For <laughs> destiny, bro, and shit. Destiny is bullshit. Destiny, bro, and shit. He says, "Nice, man." 
Oh, hey guys, what's up? I was told I had to do an ad read today. Yo, little V, what's up, dude? I hate that nickname. Please don't call me that. Oh, hey, yeah, Vincent. Uh, you're supposed to talk about honey today. Honey, like the stuff that bees make? No, come on, man. We're talking about the online coupon finder, honey. Yeah, come on, man. You haven't heard of it? No. What is it? Oh, you're missing out, Vincent. Honey is a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Yeah, and it can find codes for just about anything. Just the other day, a gem caught my eye and it saved me 20 whole gold. Talk about a steal. Yeah, you'd know a lot about that, wouldn't you, Silman? Check it out, little buddy. You don't own Honey right now, so you're straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and it installs in a few seconds. And listen, by getting it, you're doing yourself a favor and you're supporting the podcast. Oh, downloading it supports just roll with it? Okay, let me do that then. Hold on, big guy. You gotta download it using the link. Yeah, you can get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash JRWI. Hey guys, nobody actually ever taught me how to write. Can somebody put that link in for me? Whoa, this is crazy, man. I, I've gotta go tell Will about this. One second, guys. <laughs> I love that little dude. Uh, wait, what about the read? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, well, you watch as his fist turns into this, uh... Or, sorry, his, his axe hand turns uh, back into this large fist, and out of the knuckles, you see, like, these uh, these kind of uh, reactors glow and steam comes out of the wrists and the forearms through the jacket, like I said before, and he goes to slam bro, attack you. Bro, you got reactors? <laughs> that's an eight. I mean, that's an 18 to hit. Is it hit? No! Oh, <laughs> Thank shit! God for wait, wait, I have, adva- I have advantage. I have advantage. Fuck! Uh, There's a 20 hit. Yes. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> my investment. I, well, you fall prone. Looks not my I fault. My AC is twenty, man. <laughs> oh, dude! Wow. Try to fl- uh, come on. How are you this way? How are you? <laughs> you did this to yourself. Don't oh, come on. You did this. <laughs> did, you did, did this. this you did. I'm rolling really bad. I did. So you take twelve points of bludgeoning damage, and make a strength saving throw. Well, I want to go back to the sea. <laughs> Um, I rolled it. I rolled. Does it? Does a sixteen pass? The saving throw? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 That's what I have. Thirteen okay. plus yeah, three. That just passes. So you're cool. Ooh. You. I mean, you would have just been knocked prone again. It's <laughs> like that's it. Oh, so, you know, cool. he just kind of slams right into your head. Uh, a piece of the coral just kind of chips you guys. You kind of like badonk right onto the ground. No. Uh, however, he does need to make a deck save on the ball bearings here. Uh, those apples perching coral. He fails! He gets yeah. prone! He slips too! Now he gets he's the oh. And you guys hear the sound of metal going <laughs> All right, next up, Chip and Jay, what are you guys doing? I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm picking gonna, up Gillian Brian and dragging Gillian. him by yeah. his fist legs <laughs> and getting him the fuck out of there! Yes! Me. We're both getting Gillian. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab his left leg, you grab his right. Okay! <laughs> Man, man, fuck it, dude. I say you guys drag him by his legs out of the alleyway, leaving behind the, 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 the those construct, the, the machine man that just fell on his ass like a Scooby-Doo villain. Uh, and you guys are able to make it to the post office and coming out of the door with the cigar, this old arrow crocra, the old lady of the post office, you know her well, she's holding the gat right now. She goes, Ahem, get in the chute. Did, uh, did, uh, did you have to have any alcohol before here? I have to shoot? <sighs> oh, Skiing. God, that's cool. Stay, stay here, that's Betty. That's so fucking cool. That's a cool thing she just said. Did a six foot twelve year old come through here? Yep. Okay. Do you have I any alcohol? In the shoot. This is a serious question. <laughs> Everyone in. I, I also <laughs> sniff real quick to see if I do smell feces in this package room. No, I push him in. I push him in. <laughs> Fuck you. I, I shove him down wait, this fucking wait, thing. Wait, wait, Betty, is that, is that, did you I'm sc- shoving him. I'm shoving him. <laughs> you guys, as you rush into the post office, jump behind the desk and jump into the chute, uh, you hear <laughs> firing. The s- s- machine gun noise outside is, you're, <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> Betty, please install a bathroom, Like bird please. noises from the out. <laughs> from from out from outside, and then you guys fall through this metal uh, tube, sliding down and down, and you you, you kind of take some you wouldn't take some damage, but it kind of hurts as you hit some sharp edges and goes thunk, and then there's like really sharp turns that go down, uh, ding ding ding, and um, that's it. The chase scene and combat is over. Oh my god, oh Betty my god. has saved you from Ooh. a lot of things. That's so cool, dude. God, that's I hope so this cool. Doesn't get fucking infected. Ow.
Oh my god. Oh, hey. God, it just it just feels like suddenly suddenly there's more stakes in our in our lives. Like I've never hurt myself like this before. Jane. Jane, you need How did help? this happen? You guys you guys are like fall, like sliding down a metal like metal vin duct, essentially. That's cool. the shape of it. Awesome. Uh, yeah. While we're while we're while we're sliding, uh, and it's just disorienting, I I uh, randomly slap up against Jay and use lay on hands. <laughs> Uh, how many, how, how bad are you hurt? Eh. I how do you feel about 10, 10 points? 10 points? Yeah, yeah, that wouldn't be bad. I like that. I'll give you, I'll give you wanna, 10 points. I'll give you 10 points. I want to just be, yeah. just yell down. Hey, all of you down there! Ah! How think awesome that is this? Yeah! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> so cool! <laughs> and, then, and, uh, and that's what I just want to do the whole way down. <laughs> Eventually, I feel uh, as if I'm at home, cold and dark. <laughs> it is very dark in here. Jay, did you get your healing points from? I did. I'm gonna ride Gillian like a skateboard. I don't think it's. What's a skateboard? Eventually, you guys all emerge. Um, you uh, uh, at the end of this this sort of like bent dunk shaft. You or or I think that's the right. Is yeah, that a that's soft right landing? No, it's not. Uh, all of you tumble <laughs> out immediately uh, as the ending of this ride is a, a a vertical straight drop with gravity here, but you're in the tube, and then there's a there's a sharp, almost kind of like the end of a slide at the end of it that shoots you out, and you all tumble onto this ground. Uh, there's like it's kind of it's more of like a like a dusty ground, and you can hear the sounds of, of water, uh, like the waves just sort of uh, uh, gently crashing onto docks. And you uh, recognize that you have just been dropped off at one of the ports in the uh, first Ooh. stage of the kingdom, the first level. Uh, and you look up and you can see wooden docks and there's a few people who are walking around. It's a little bit quieter. There's Next to you, there's there's a bunch of boxes that are stacked up as well as envelopes and whatnot. And uh, there seems to be uh, a, a, a cart as well as someone holding the cart, this uh, small uh, kind of like gnomish Mixed with like it's like a it's like a gnomish with like really pointy elven ears, um, and they're like holding this cart and putting like boxes into it. And as soon as you all kind of like tumble out and you uh, you get your bearings and you look up, they're looking at you with a surprised, uh, shocked and sort of sort of a terrified gaze. I, I, I like slam down out of the out of the, uh, the kudu, kudu. Just kind of go uh, d delivery. Oh, I think I'm I never want to do that again. Oh, I God. think I'm gonna feed a school. Oh boy! Can I get the, the, oh, the what does that mean? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> the person you spoke to, Chip, Ooh. just kind of holds out their hand silently, looking at you. Where the, where's the king? I grab their hand and use it to get up. <laughs> Thanks. Did you see? Uh, are, are well, they? The, you're you're able to find. Everyone has is kind of uh, uh, ended up here. The king and the retain and his retainer are already kind of like stood up. <laughs> And uh, waiting for your arrival, they regroup with you as you all get yourselves back up and dust it off. Well, that was exciting. <sighs> that was <sighs> terrifying. Oh. That was awesome. <sighs> yeah, let's go up and go down again. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. That was really cool. Right? Haven't uh, haven't haven't beefed I... it like that in a while. Um, but like you should have I seen. I got so much air in that bump in the middle. How I was long just of a fall was I look up? Floating. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen Puddle, he's so flexible, I don't even know how he made it through the-, the... <laughs> Puddle, how are you completely intact? I can't even imagine. Just, I'm- I'm gl King, I'm glad you survived the weight of a horse falling on top of you. He says it's because he's kind of rubbery. Yeah, that makes sense. Sure. He- he yeah, kind of is a lot of water like, and I kind of pet his mane. What even are rubbery? you? You're not- he doesn't feel like water. He's a horse, Gillian. And <laughs> the king just kind of uh, like, 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 kind of, sort of whispers to the retainer, and he's just like, <clears throat> "Did you see that old bird lady? She, she had some kind of weapon." He said, "This, this is really cool." And uh, Mr. Watts is like just holding his, his like temples. He's like, <sighs> uh, "I want to, I want to, like, kind of put my arm around the young king." Well, all right, king, here's your kingdom. Uh, please don't touch me. And he like s <laughs> swipes your hand off of, your, <laughs> off of his shoulder. I I, oh. I wrap my arm around the king. All right, king, here's your kingdom. 
He swipes your hand. He doesn't Damn smell it. like you. <laughs> I put my hand on the king's shoulder and garbage. say, before Don't. you is your destiny. Whether this or not the... you wish to... Oh, he hasn't he hasn't taken my hand off yet. Apparently he respects we, you more. We, go. Know. we just... did jump in dumpsters. We did Smells... jump in dumpsters. I think my wound's infected. <laughs> I think there's an alcoholic down here I can steal some booze from. Pro I mean, I'm probably. Sure somebody. Yeah, especially. <laughs> okay. I mean, down here, yeah, with alcoholism, probably r runs rampant. <laughs> awesome. That's that's the and world. That's, <laughs> and that's what we're here to, to show you, King. The the king said. Uh, I also read that pirates tend to celebrate with alcohol. They did make me do a keg stand on my first night. We, so. Yeah, we, I was just oh, thinking yeah, of that yeah. too. Yeah, that was. <laughs> It was intense. I would like um, to try some. Uh, hang on. I, I was thinking maybe we make a uh, quick stop first. Where are we going? I want to lead him to the uh, the orphanage. Uh, is yeah, it, what about absolutely. is that where everybody wants to head to? Uh, I yeah. think so. Yeah, and just kind of uh, kind of taking it all in as as we walk. Okay. You guys begin making your way. Uh, you 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 eventually get back to um, the the main area, that kind of pentagon-shaped port um, that you guys arrived in. And you do walk past the docks where you see your ship, and not Lizzie's. Um, and you don't see the paper boy. This, uh, it is late at night. Um, and uh, so, like, the foot traffic of the area isn't extremely busy. Uh, but you do make your way to the road uh, that the young orphan Tyler stole your briefcase and ran down, assuming that's what leads to uh, the section, the slums, the sunny side slums. Uh, and you guys can talk on your way there. So, Leon, I know you haven't acted much in your position and in your youth, but how do you feel about you being a king? Just looking around. Just wondering. His mouth is like slightly open as if to uh, show an unintentional awe like he's not like paying attention to his, his demeanor because he's just so struck him by like what he's looking at and he just says I don't want to be a, a king really I I was just born into this my, <laughs> my brother is the one who does the leading and yeah I'm more of a book person honestly so being locked up in that castle wasn't really all that different I know I don't necessarily think royalty's all that but being born into a position like yours comes with a lot of responsibilities and a lot of pressures that aren't aren't the best. And, and we're going to an orphanage now and the people there are going to have had a very different experience from you. But it's important to understand that even though it might not be what you want right now, you can do a lot of good with it. That's that's why we came and got you, and I I do see uh, a lot of good in you and I take it you have experience, Mr. Gillian. Were you also born into royalty? <laughs> not not royalty, but I mean Destiny, in a way. Yes, and, um... This is how you've been handling it? It's not easy. But I... I try to live up to what... The position that I was fortunate enough to have. Yeah, Gillian here tries to do right by everybody. <laughs> <laughs> At least in his book. Um, doesn't always mean the best. But he tries, you know. Thanks, Jay. I I know my ways of doing things aren't always the ways that people up here like. And a lot of the things you guys say don't doesn't make sense to me, but I guess what I'm trying to say is if you if this is a lot, if you do need to confide in us or if it's just to escape your head for a bit about it all. We are here to talk to as well as <laughs> this whole destiny thing. Well, you guys definitely aren't the pirates I've read about, but this is the most fun I've had since I was born. 
and since, I guess because of that, um, I'll try. Um, I'll take your word for it. I'll, 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 I'll follow you and do, do what you say and pay attention and... I just, I wonder, if, what if even after all this, no, I, I, tr I learn what's happening, what's the results of my father's rule and everything he's done, and what if I, I mean, what if I try my best to fix it, but in the end, I still don't want to be the king, what if I'm not happy doing this? What if it's not what you want? It wasn't your choice to be born into royalty. But it is your choice what to do with it. I wish would, it were easier than that. Would it be wrong to... <laughs> run away from it? Jay kind of looks down. <laughs> uh, two different morals here. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're going to have to face it no matter what. The best thing you can do is be honest with yourself. There, uh, Mr. Watch just sort of uh, smirks uh, and walks up behind the uh, the king and just kind of like puts uh, puts like one arm behind the the left shoulder and just sort of nods to you guys. Whatever happens, I'll I'll make sure that you are protected. And uh, this is this is new for me too. I guarded your, your father my entire life. I do regret saying that I do not look forward to seeing down here, as I have been aware for some time now, it's neglect. That's what happens when you keep building up till you reach the pinnacle in the sky and completely disconnect from everyone else below. You know, for the king's retainer, you're very knowledgeable on and very aware of a lot of this. I'm sure you'll make the right decisions. You're a smart kid. And we're a great influence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ollie says, yeah, I mean, look at me. I'm totally cool now. Ollie's hey, great. Uh, Ollie's hey, so tall. Uh, I think awesome. this is the Ollie's orphanage so cool. up here. <laughs> look, he's so handsome. So, <laughs> you guys uh, start to walk through the residential area of the slums. You make it to the slums district. And uh, around you, it is consisting of these, like, densely packed housing units of uh, mediocre quality. Most of the buildings have deteriorated, um, with a few that are just complete, or not completely, but uh, there's a few buildings that are just incomplete. All consistently made of concrete and copper metals. They follow the theme of the rest of the kingdom, stacked up like building blocks, with large pipes along the sides. Some even acting as walkways and inclines to reach higher levels of the buildings. This area, as you make your way deeper, is much foggier and darker, um, with the collection of platforms acting as the Blossom District's floors, obscuring most of the vision of the higher parts of the kingdom and even the sky. Eventually, you get to the square of the sunny slides, <laughs> sunny side slums. It's only a little less clustered. The opening area is a triangular shape. The acrid smell that's been present is overshadowed by a more pleasant aroma due to the various plants that have been potted and hung around uh, and sneaking whiffs of food from warm open fires. This seems to be a gathering area. You get the gist. Uh, <laughs> it's well lit by strings of classic light bulbs filled with a glowing orange liquid. And uh, you see kids running in and out of one of the buildings shouting. And the sign above this building is shaped by the same light bulbs that is used to light the area, and it says Harbor. And uh, because of the amount of kids, and uh, a familiar face of a young paper boy sitting on the steps, you would gather that this is the orphanage you have seeked out. Well, this is your father's legacy. It's um, been quite awful making the walking through so far and the king now that you guys have made this journey you've been walking for about at least an hour it's 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 pretty light it's not like midnight or anything but it's pretty late now as you guys did this heist pretty late at night and it's taken a while to get here um 
Uh, yeah, he looks a, a little less enthusiastic and optimistic <laughs> at this point. No. And, and uh, of course, the, the retainer is just showing kind of a, a more stoic expression just here to support. And Ollie is just kind of hugging behind Chip. You didn't ask to be born into this royalty, but they didn't ask to be born into this either. Nobody really gets a luxury of choice and where they're born into. But what you do with it, that is that is what matters most. Hey, think about all those resources you have up there. Like Gareth said, you kept building up and there's there's some incredible things up there that you could share with these people. Yeah, when you're down here, there's it's not a lot of options. You end up doing things you wouldn't normally do just to survive. Uh, and it's Is that why you stole from the castle? That is. And we're going to share it with these people. But I think... It might mean more if, if you know, mm -hmm. you shared it. I think just knowing that somebody, you know, has their back around here uh, would help a lot. I, I need um, either both of you make persuasion checks or make a persuasion check with advantage, one of you. Chip, I'll, do, I'll do uh, advantage. Do advantage. Yeah, do advantage. Okay, thank God for advantage. 21. One of the... Uh, um, Kids that's running uh, around in and out. There's two kids chasing each other, and then they immediately, or one of them just kind of runs into Gillian and falls flat on their ass as if running into a pillar. <laughs> and uh, you hear the kid go, Who put a wall in the middle of the. God! <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Hey. A walking fish! Hey, hey. It's all right. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Walking fish. Oh, walking fish. <laughs> that's going, okay, that's going okay. on the title list, by the way. That is. Can we walking eat you? Fish. Please let it. Gillian Tide Strider. No, no, he doesn't fish. He doesn't eat. He doesn't eat you. No, <laughs> he's just he's a friend. Right, Gillian? You're not gonna eat him. I'm not gonna eat him. Are you gonna eat me? <laughs> can I? Can I? No. I don't know. Well, maybe. You're looking at this small little rosy cheeked, uh, uh, just kind of yeah, a he's... human girl with like bright red hair kind of tied to the to the sides and two little ponytails. Yeah, and Gillian, Gillian here is our emergency ration. I'm starting to I'm starting to back up. You you never you never told me you you ate you ate fish people. We don't eat fish people. Can we? No, just fish, just normal, and then, fish. Uh, just regular fish. <laughs> You also notice that these kids are all kind of wearing like the same, uh, uh, like black and white. It's not, it's not like none design clothing, but it's the same colors and kind of like the same uh, vibe. It's just like like uh, nightgowns and 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 tattered shirts and shorts, just kind of that that white and and black neutral color uh, color scheme. And they're all wearing the same kind of uniform. Um, no, we're we're here to make sure you're eating. Just hopefully not me, please. Please stay away, little. <laughs> and then. <laughs> well, I don't know, Gillian. I could go for a fish fry. <laughs> I could take you. <laughs> Damn. Oh. oh, sorry. That's that's little Jesse. Hey, can you can you just get back inside? All right, it's getting late. You guys shouldn't be running and chasing each other out here. Uh, and you guys see walking up is uh, uh, Isaac, the young paper boy. Ooh. I just keep calling people young now. I just can't stop. The paper boy Isaac, he's walking up. He was standing on the steps. Well, uh, he is with this, young. This, this ordeal, he he walks up. He's still wearing that kind of, um, uh, what is it, a beret on his head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the same outfit as before. He's he, he's looking bright-eyed and a little dusty from being outside all day, probably selling papers again. Um, so the, the paper got updated. Do you want to buy another one? Yeah, sure. Uh, Why not? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, that's ten gold. <laughs> <laughs> ten gold you know, now. Maybe, yeah. actually, uh, it seems like there's a lot interesting happening. Maybe we'll take a few, right, guys? Yeah, I, I can take a couple here. Uh, and yeah. I, I want to hand the briefcase to the to the king. Yeah, there, there's some money in there if you wanted to, to give. Uh, you wanted to get a couple of newspapers. Papers. See what's going on down here. Um. Uh, and like nervously, he just kind of like flicks it open. Hey, I've never seen you around here before, and oh, now that new. think about it, you're all kind of dressed extremely different and nice. 
Must what have been fun mean? in the Blossom I look District, like, huh? I look like a homeless person right now. <laughs> yeah, you could say you're that. A little, sure. I mean, you're a little bruised up, but <laughs> could have been, a, I guess, a wild few nights partying, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, and I wipe a little blood my, off my, my wound. My wound, <laughs> my wound oozes. So, uh, new kid. Chip is missing a finger. <laughs> <laughs> if his I'm eyes tired. could go starry, they would, as he says. So, new kid. How many papers you buying? And uh, the the king just kind of like reaches his hand in this briefcase, and uh, he's he's shocked by that that it um that it just kind of like is endless. Uh, then he pulls out first a bunch of pants and then puts those back in and pulls out a thing of juice and he's like, "How do I get the? What am I looking for?" Wait, we still had one of those in there. No, you just gotta think about it. Think about what you're trying to grab. Don't it like reaches horse. in and then pulls out just like a handful case. of gold, like maybe 25 pieces of gold. He just pulls out. He's like in his hand. Uh, will this be enough? And then he says that to Isaac, who's, whose face just kind of like pogs him immediately. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, sh my golly. Um, uh, uh, I'm going to go get the the um, the orphanage owner. OK, no, hang on. Um, Here, hold Isaac. my hold my paper. No, hey, he's like, on, he just... like Grab a grab out a handful. <laughs> keep this to yourself, though, just for you. Twenty. Okay. Cool. Just keep myself. that for you, and go go get the owner. His eyes start to water, <laughs> and his lip trembles, <laughs> and he uh, he kind of like throws off his satchel of papers right in front of you guys, and he runs into the uh, uh, the building, the harbor, <laughs> the harbor orphanage, and he's like you screaming. See? He's like, "Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yes, so much Inya! As as little as twenty five gold, you see how much it means to the people down here. You have exponentially more than that, like thousands, hundreds of thousands. Well, I'm sure maybe less now, but well, a little you're still bit less. a lot. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I get the gist. Change just kind of looks a little. He looks a little, mm -hmm. you know, sad, but kind of like pondering. Uh, and then a few moments later. Uh, <laughs> Isaac comes running out, uh, holding the hand, kind of like, like, <laughs> like she's like holding a, a child in her arm while being dragged by Isaac out of the orphanage, uh, the building. And, uh, you see this, this, this kind of like half dragonborn, half, uh, half human. It looks like a, a um, basically a, like a mixed race. Uh, she's got long, straight black hair with bright yellow eyes and uh, remnants of like dragon scales that, that shape designs in her forehead, cheeks, neck, forearms. Uh, but the majority of her skin is this gentle shade of peach. And she's uh, wearing some kind of hoodie dress hybrid, the top half being blue with black laces that run up the front and it gradients down into a black ruffled skirt. She's got this black braided leather belt around the waist as well with this big golden buckle, kind of like a, like a circular shaped buckle. And uh, there's pouches hanging off, like looks like a bunch of like tools, the, help with uh, uh like the bottles and all kinds of stuff she seems to be a, a one a one person job here one person show and um she gets pulled out uh and uh, <laughs> and isaac says they bought all the papers and i even marked up the price a lot <laughs> look at this and he holds out his hand just full of gold and uh you see uh who, who he yelled would be a uh, yesenia and she goes oh my um, please, would you like to, uh, this, all of you, and she seems like a little shaken by the amount of gold and also your clothes. Um, I don't know what you're doing here visiting, but if you want to come in for, uh, something to drink, sit down. Sure, yeah. I'm just putting the rest of the kids to bed, so. What do you have? Yeah, you have apple absolutely. juice? Oh, man. When I'm back, back when I was apple in the morning, <laughs> apple juice? Right there? No, no, no. Okay, so does it come in like, a, it's like a little pouch? It's like a little bag. You have the bag, apple juice. This is what Chip does after every every voyage, yeah, is he every, drinks every. apple juice out of a bag. Just a lot of apple no, juice. No, 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 no. It's like on by an old bag. It's got like a little circle uh -huh. on it and two lines. Hey, listen, you have to have the apple juice, please. <laughs> the, the baby she's holding kind of turns uh, its head and just says, it's head. It's a thing, sorry. I don't know how to handle babies. <laughs> and it just kind of. I just drop them. <laughs> it just kind of mumbles out. What? What's apple juice? Don't even know what apple juice is. At the most, we have distilled water. I hope that's uh, going to be enough. Yeah, we'll see. Distilled is pretty good. Please come in and, and uh, warm up. 
I'm oh, interested on in what you're doing here. As everybody starts walking in, I wanna I wanna pull Gilliam back actually for a moment. Hey, Gil, I was just wondering about what were you saying to the king, um, you know about having to face <laughs> what you were born into, you know, um. It's it's it just feels like I've been running away from it for so long, you know. I've been delaying the choices I need to make and, and the consequences of the ones I have made. And I'm 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 not sure what to do. Well, Jay, if I had to give my advice as Gillian Tide Strider walking fish, I'd probably tell you all you really can do is your best now and that whatever happened before you get the choice of choosing who you're gonna be tomorrow so you don't need to keep running you can face whatever you want head on and I know that especially to be true for you I'm just worried I guess um, what, what happens when I have to make these choices, you know, I don't, I don't want our adventures to end there, you know, it's, I mean, this has genuinely been some of the most fun I've had in my life, and I, I don't want to turn my back on that. Jay, I think this is the first time I've lived. So I think I could say the same. <laughs> I understand. And when the time does come for you to make those choices, and it will, I'll be there by your side. Thank you, Gillian. And I'm going to like, go in for a hug. Of course. <laughs> hug her back. Why are you guys hugging back there? Why don't you just kiss already? <laughs> I, I toss a middle finger at Chip. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Is, what, is, what is this? Some sort of, some sort of uh, exclamation? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hand signal of disrespect. Oh my goodness! It means two big ones. Oh shit. gosh! I out two big ones, and I'm like, and I'm like waving them up and down, like from afar. This is this is this is appalling. <laughs> oh. All, all he's kind of making like the O face, you know, that, when he's kind of like like just observing and he's looking at Chip and he's looking at Jay uh, and then he looks back at Chip and then he looks at Jay and his eyes furrow and he lifts up his middle finger and then he starts yes! waving up, up and down. No! I Woo! don't understand it, but yeah, I'm like <laughs> jumping for I joy. Gillian, I need, I need <laughs> your back right now. Come on, join me. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, look at my new toy. I'm gonna, and I'm I start gonna make to a, like I'm gonna make a wisdom, I'm gonna make a wisdom saving throw to see if I can flip up. Chip. I, I I I start blowing on my finger. Jay and Gillian sitting in a tree. J I S S I N S I N G. Jay, I don't understand it, but I'll, I'll try. I'm gonna make a uh, I'm gonna make a roll to see if I can flip off Chip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see as I uh, I turn to him and like I slowly lift up my ring finger. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. This How do you is, do that? This is <laughs> what I think. It's the wrong finger. <laughs> you no, know, you God. tried, Gillian, and I oh, appreciate look, that. Oh, look, Chip, he wants to get married to Jay. <laughs> oh, he's getting married. <laughs> oh, put a ring on it, Jay. Do not oh, joke about ladies. such a serious union. Uh, Chip, you have that's... a wife. Sarah Squirty! Hey, 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 Ollie, let's go inside, let's go inside, let's go inside, Ollie, no, come on, cover your ears. You're like ushering him inside. No, cover your ears, my son, my son, my sweet innocent baby boy, please come inside with me. No, 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 no. All right, you guys get out. I should have thrown you out the window with the rest of them. You guys kind of take refuge inside of the, not refuge, well, that's kind of, that's ironic. You guys take a homestead into the orphanage. You guys enter the orphanage and inside it's kind of a it's a it, the shape of this building is not definable it's not like a like a it's not well built uh it's it's in that in that sense it's kind of shinily put together um it's not enough to accommodate the amount of kids that are here and um you don't actually recognize or notice uh tyler the the other the orphan you met um anywhere here but um once you're inside there's a big table uh, on this first floor. This is a two-story building. There's a big table. 
uh, with a bunch of seats uh, kind of all around it. And it's a big circular table. And it's sharing the space with like a makeshift kitchen, uh, as well as sharing the space um, for bathing, like a big old tub. And this is all in the same room. So they kind of eat, cook, and, and bathe in the same room. And then there's like a, a small st spiral staircase that leads to the second floor. Which uh, you guys aren't there at the moment. You're kind of sitting. You could take seats all around this table as you're handed these kind of small tin cups filled with uh, hot water. It's it's very, it's creaky, but it's cozy just because it's... it's The uh, Yasinia, the, the, uh, the woman who kind of like goes up the steps for a second sits down the baby and, and, and lays him down and you kind of hear her, uh, her yell from upstairs. Everybody out lights now. And then it just oh. hushes like all of like a dun, 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 dun. Uh, like all of the footsteps uh, on the wood above everything just kind of like uh, in one swift uh, moment, just all silent. Wow. And she comes down the steps and um, she says, <clears throat> okay, so I am, um, I take it you know young Isaac. Um, and, uh, yeah, she we, we've bought papers from him before. Um. I was wondering where he got his, um, I guess, donations from the last place. The last time he was here. Oh, yeah, he was a huge help. He helped us out in, when we got into the port and uh, gave us the lay of the land. Gave us a couple <laughs> of papers. You know, we just wanted to return the favor. Isaac kind of like leans up against the table. He's he's still down here, and he uh, he gives his eye his eyebrows start to wiggle, and he's like, mm. "So, uh, how'd it go? You uh, <laughs> pull it off? How do you think it went?" And I wink at him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you guys are real pirates! And then he like immediately covers his mouth, and uh, Yasinia says, "Ooh, yeah. <laughs> pirates! This is a real king." The what? <laughs> oh, is that is was? <laughs> Oops! Look, a we're, real king of right the now. Slums. We're just people <laughs> passing through, trying to help. Yeah. Uh, and I, I want to grab the the briefcase and kind of hand it to, uh, or make sure the young boy is holding it again. The king say, uh, "If my friend here will uh, give you what we came to give you." We can get out of your hair. I just kind of nudge him. The king opens the briefcase again. Just like pull it, just handfuls. Come on, it's man. It's like a mob deal. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks a little nervous, and then Yasinia uh, says, uh, "Well, then, who is this friend here? Is uh, bringing us gifts? So generous." Our friend. Well, it's as I said. No, uh, he's... a wealthy benefactor. Yeah, just. He, he doesn't like his identity being fully known. <laughs> Someone here to help. Guys, make deception checks. Natural 20 on my first roll. Oh! <laughs> I hate playing with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cracked, I had two natural tonight. ones in a row tonight, today. Man. Give me this one. <laughs> you are kind of, you do have a scar now, so I guess that's... Yeah, I have a pretty bad scar. I'm pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah, dynamic character design, baby, up top. Woo! <laughs> I'm not one to question donations, so... Uh, and then uh, he just starts pulling out gold, and then he accidentally pulls out this like uh, uh, kind of this like tome that has like gems on the front of it. And then uh, he looks at you. He's like, I don't know what this is. Do I, I don't know. Let me just hold on to that one. Let me just hold on to this. I want to. <laughs> he look just at slips it. it back into the briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he's pulling out gold, and then uh, the the eyes of Isaac and 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 Isinia, they're they're just widening every time he puts more on the table. Uh, do you want him to stop at any point or just put it all on there? No, put it all. If he's thinking of pulling out gold coins, he'll pull out all, every single gold coin <laughs> yep, that's inside fine. the briefcase. Uh, yep. It ends up being, you know, a, a pretty large pile that takes up a, a good portion of this table here as you and Ollie collectively piled a lot of it, like shoveled it into the briefcase. So <laughs> uh, it is all like just sitting on the Ollie. table. And uh, both the uh, people in front of you are just uh, speechless at the moment. Um, that's it. Nothing else is coming. Yep. So that should help out. Uh, we can get out of your hair now. We can get going. Uh, just hey, thanks. be careful with that. Obviously, you know a lot of bad people they want to do yeah. bad things. Uh, like enemies. You got a lot of money now. Make sure to buy paper straws. Uh, hide it in the banana stand. There's always money in the banana stand. Um, What's uh, the banana? Um, um, 
Oh god. <laughs> oh. Isaac, cover your ears. Okay. And he like puts his ears over his his hands over his ears. Who the fuck are you? Where do you I'm come from? I'm Gillian Tide Strider. Walking. Why are you fish? leaving us here? Because you deserve we it. We wanted to help. You don't know us. But we know you're going through a lot of hardship. And that's enough reason for us. I don't need to know these kids. I, I was one of these kids. You know, it's, give them a better shot. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, we don't need another ship running around. Hey, I'm <laughs> all right. I think I did pretty well for myself. Yeah, okay. She, uh, she kind of cuts the pile in half and then moves the pile towards you and says, I don't know your reasons or who you are, but... We are just a collecting a collection of unfortunate people and a sea of unfortunate people. If you're really trying to spread your wealth, don't drop it all here. Spread it out. This is more than enough to. I mean, to supply for these children. Yeah, we can do that. So do I? Just the king says. Do I just put it back in the? I think we just put it back in. Yeah, we awkwardly. Just it. He just kind of shovels it back in that. Um, whatever you do when you reach in, never think of a horse. Don't think of it, don't think of it, don't think of it. Do not think it, do not think it, do not say it. Don't think of a horse, don't think of a horse, don't say horse, don't say horse, don't think of horse. Do not, the second you do, you actualize a horse. Don't think it, don't say it, don't Every time you, every time you think about a horse, a new horse is made. Well, now I'm thinking about a horse. Stop thinking about the horse, you're gonna kill us all. He just leaves his hand inside of the Puddle is just standing directly behind him now. Just fucking <laughs> just breathing, just breathing down his neck. <laughs> <laughs> and no one's gonna come looking for this, okay? This whole time, Isaac is just like bouncing around the walls and like uh, shouting about all the things that he wants to buy with it. Um, <laughs> he's like one of the things he starts yelling is, "I'm gonna get up for one of those machinery hoverboards." I can take a train up to the Blossom District! And then uh, he gets a, like a stern look from Asenia and immediately stops and says, No, I won't actually go up there ever in my life. It's actually a really good <laughs> idea. Never yeah, go up there. That. Yeah, don't go up there. It's just not worth it. <laughs> if you um, ever meet a woman named Betty, run. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, Yesenia, the, the housekeeper and, and, and owner of this, this uh, orphanage, is just... Um, well, please, if you want to stay, I mean, is there anything that I can get you, or...? I would love a place to rest, personally. I, uh... I'm a little bruised up right now, and it's been a long day. But I, Do you, I, uh... I, I, I would say that there's a... Somewhere... Uh, more hidden away? Not that we're hiding, but I'd prefer not to be found, if anything. And there's many criminals that stay in the slums, it's totally fine. It's just, them. Um, I, uh, I would- you obviously can't sleep upstairs with the children, but, um, I do have room in, uh, the shed, uh, just adjacent to this building. Uh, if you want to stay with me, otherwise I'm, I can provide bedrolls, if you have I, some I rolls. do have a bedroll, so... I'm filling the bathtub. <laughs> Gillian gets in the bathtub that's in the in this room. I get it. I get in the bathtub and just start filling it, like while I'm just curled up. In it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I, I, anything that you want, even sleeping in the bathtub. Yeah, I, okay. yeah that's what he yeah, does. He's, he um, does that. He's takes, takes me home. Uh, we could stay in the shed. Uh, whatever works for you. That's fine. Uh, would this... you mind if I just walked around? It's just not upstairs, as the children are trying to sleep, and anything new to them will excite them, and it'll be hard to get them back down. <laughs> yeah, of course. But you make yourselves at home, and the shed is yours. And I'll leave it unlocked. Or I've left it unlocked already, so... And, uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, before you, I, just, I guess, head in. I think Chip would probably just go look around the... the, the orphanage. Uh, not, not, not doing anything in particular, just kind of moseying around on the roof if possible okay uh yeah you can make your way up to the roof without check jay what are you doing you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go set up my bedroll in the shed i guess for now 
Cool. Uh, if I see Chip go on the roof and looking pensively into the stars, <laughs> I might go talk to him. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking really pensively. I'm looking stoic, like I'm Batman. Oh wow. Well, okay, uh, I'm well, gonna go talk. I, that's that's a that's a that's a character arc flag right there. I gotta go talk to him. Damn it! I already <laughs> filled. I already filled. I already filled the tub. <laughs> Shit. I, I look. I look. I look over at Jay. Does it look like she's about to have a two-person or a three-person character arc moment? <laughs> I will say, you guys have never had a three-person character arc. Come on, that's yet. true. On, we've Come we've on. had like one right after the Gillian chip fight, actually. Fine. Uh, right, pretzel, you yes. let Pretzel out of her, her 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 flask in the in the tub, and she starts pushing against you, although it doesn't budge you, and she's like like. Prr, prr. She's like blowing bubbles in the water, trying to push I you know, out of the top. I know, Pretzels. She's like pointing out the door, sternly. No, gotta have the moment. <laughs> oh, on the roof. God, it's it's Pretzel it's a story lace. flag. We can't just, just ignore it. Pretzel, I can't miss the story beat. Here, you 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 sleep here. When I come back, we will dream of Dugan together. How big is gotten? A backflip, uh, and and then just ends up. Upside down in the water, <laughs> and then slowly sinks into the into the the bath. Um, Apple, you you stay good too. Apple gets on your shoulder and, and <laughs> oh, start. There you and are! Wow, it's like you just come out of nowhere. All right, I, I follow Jay up. I follow Jay up. <laughs> Apple is always on somebody's shoulder. I have to say that just okay. now. That's somebody's awesome. shoulder. Like Apple is always around. I don't always, um, cause Apple's a fucking bird. Apple's just chilling. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why Apple's still here, but Apple's still here. It is, Listen, and, and, Jay, and it doesn't Jay have any like character. Apple un, unmatched adoration, okay? Okay, <laughs> then, then Apple stays with Jay the majority of the time. Bro, yeah. I love it. I love it. That's so great. <laughs> All right then. I, cool. I head Apple. up to the roof as well. Just, just soaking wet. Just absolutely dripping you, wet everywhere. <laughs> as you come up, like you're coming up. He looked out stoically upon the city. Should we? Hey, are you? We be no, we well, should let him, hey, we should hey, let him go. Hey, Jay, Jay! Are you stumbled. monologuing hey, to yourself up what's here? Up? What's up, Jay? Are you like a Gil? superhero now? I see you looking upon <laughs> the city ever, stoically, pondering our destinies together and how they've intertwined thus far. But not just that, where the red thread of fate will take us. So true. <laughs> Oh, and what wonderful what's... scarf it will weave. I, that, yeah, that feels like a stretch. I don't know. It's like a knitting. Yeah, I don't know if they're... The, it, does it do scarves? scarves? Makes I kind of want scarf. gloves. I want mitts. Can we have mitts instead? I, I wonder if you could make a big mitten out of the red string of fate. Maybe. <sighs> Maybe. It's anyway, what's going on, string. Chip? I mean, you're... you're, you're I mean... I mean, I'm just, just hanging out. Like, are you okay? I mean, you just helped these kids more than anything else could have yeah well someone had to right <laughs> what you did today was dare i say, Don't say heroic ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, i guess higher you are you know no one helped us by, you know, we by went us. down a pretty bad road do you mean like well, after Arlen, I had to go somewhere. This is pretty similar to what it was like for you. Eh, a lot less kids, but yeah, pretty much. You know, maybe if we help them, they'll see that there are helpful people in the world. You know, if I hadn't known Arlen, I, I wouldn't have even known they existed. What do you think now? I, I don't know what to think. Well, I mean, Chip, at the end of the day, you are one of those helpful people. We've together Sometimes, all three of us. But we've helped so many people. You know, the people of Lothenlot. <laughs> we've we ended their curse. The people trapped in that casino forever. We we helped them escape. We we ended that. And we took a twelve year old boy onto our ship and, and took his childhood from him. And we're working on fixing that. I'd I'd argue that the, the adventures you're showing him are going to help him in the long run. It's... How do you know that? He... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he seems into it now. <laughs> Who can really say? I don't know what his life was like back on Zero. You did mess up giving him the compass, but... There's no use dwelling on it, and... Ollie has done a lot of good, too. 
How can and I, I not dwell on it? I, 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 I know, I, he's done good, but every time I look at him, I can't help but think I did that to him. I mean, you gave him the compass, but who did the compass belong to first? I'm sort of looking at this mark on my wrist as well. And there's no way you could have known it would have done that. But in the future, uh, maybe maybe some honesty between the three of us is, is a little better than giving a magical cursed object to a, a child. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I didn't... I didn't want you to say to throw it away because uh, it can get us there. It could get us to to Arlen, and, and he could captain the ship, and we would... You know, Chip, don't mean to drudge it up, but are you sure the compass is... Are you sure Arlen is... I, he, I don't know. Of course he is! Of course he is! He has to be! He would not go down that easy. I know he wouldn't. I mean, he is, right? I hope so, but... I worry about you living so much for this person when you have so many opportunities in front of you now. You, know, you don't understand. I wouldn't have had any opportunities without him. And if he's gone, then what does it matter? Well, there's still a lot more, Chip. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I get you're trying to replicate, <laughs> trying to be the same. It feels like you're living in his shadow, but... You're so much more than that. I understand wanting to see him again, but... Arlen didn't write a single, probably. <laughs> and if he did... No, he was a I bet he'd be proud singer. of yours. Yeah. Do you think, do you think so Arlen bad. robbed a, a castle in the sky? Probably not. Well, well, kind of similar, but... No, I guess not. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we've made a lot of memories together, too, Chip. So I wouldn't throw that away at the drop of the hat either. If he's not out there, then what? Okay, Lizzie wants us to go to war with the Navy, and I... I can't do that. I'm just... Me, I can't even... Can't even captain a ship of three people! I can't even keep Ollie safe. And I, I hope Arlen's out there too, don't get me wrong, but if he isn't... Then you're gonna have to start learning how to live for yourself, live, live, and and be what he would have wanted you to be. You know, carry on his honor. <laughs> I'm I'm sure he wouldn't want you to be up here on a roof drowning in sorrow because of it. You know, it, if he's anything like what you've told me, and if the real chip is anything like what we've seen. I have no doubt that there are great things in store. Yeah, th thanks, guys. Also, <laughs> I know technically you're supposed to be our captain, Chip, but at the end of the day, you're my friend first. Okay? So don't put too much weight on it. I mean, I guess we could all be captain, right? There's no, like... The, I mean, this is, it's it. not like we follow the oh, rules. I mean, there's a there's anything. a pirate code, but uh, <laughs> we only know one rule. And again, yet none of us have pissed our pants. We'll cross that <laughs> bridge when we get there. Hey, someday you never know. Maybe we okay. can. Okay. All right. So we're all captain. Yeah. Put your hands in. I put my <laughs> okay. hand in. I I put my hand in. All right. <laughs> I, Captain Chip. I, Captain J. Oh, is this, is this a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're next. Okay. You're next. I, Captain Gillian Tide Strider, Champion of the Undersea, Hero of the Deep, the one <laughs> singer songwriter, <laughs> and Walking Fish, the Fenestrator of the Adulterate. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do solemnly swear. Do you solemnly swear? Oh, shit. Do solemnly swear. <laughs> <laughs> to fuck shit up. Huh. To fuck shit up. To pledge allegiance. No. <laughs> no, come on, Gil. <laughs> my word, go all is, the way my with word is my bond, and I am bonding to the ideal of fucking sh <laughs> To fuck shit up. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> okay, to help those in need. 
<laughs> to help those in need. To help those in need. And to be the best goddamn pirates anyone has ever seen. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> I, uh, I, we, do we do like the fucking, we put our hands up in the air, like clenched fist. Yeah. This would yeah. be the perfect time to have a pirate crew name. <laughs> to us! <laughs> the, the, uh, we need a pirate crew name. Um, oh God, we, we've never uh, had one of those. It's been so long. The, um, check this out, check this out. We'll, I'll start a sound and then you guide me through okay. it. Okay. The serpentine serpentine the zip zoopers nope uh the Riptide Pirates! To the Riptide Pirates! The Riptide Pirates! Into the Riptide! Yeah! And hands go up. We hands up and we look out onto this. And that's where we end the session. Yeah, it is! Yeah! Oh, cool! <laughs> That's what we're doing. Let's go. That's that was great. a fucking great session, boys. Oh my god! Oh. I have so much to say, and I will on our on Patreon me. show. Let's oh, roll our with Patreon it. Patreon show. Oh, the show. Just just roll roll with with it. We talk about the show. Jared W. Right. Patreon.com says just roll with it. Patreon. Give us more money. Just give it a roll with it. Give us your money. Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Condi, and I'm here to quickly thank our patrons for today. So thank you so much to Scarab5, Sandy007, Benjamin Talavera, Kylie Evans, Pet Hedgehog, Reaper's Past, Sebastian Saunders, Apple, Princess Vegeta, Soul of a Pep, Clarence, Cheshire, The Copper Android, Misfit Wolverine 15, Blue Blem Blop, Elise the Washed Up Bard, Bowling Ball Iron, Zerberus, Mr. Griffin, Alyssa, Dream Strider, Obligatory References, Beats, Ben 10, Zypher Pendrake, Price and a Sin, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Consume Cheddar, Viridin, Miscellaneous, X Spoogaloo, Creepy Reaper, King of Ranch, Serene is Actually a Skeleton, Material Seaweed, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Russia Snivy, Cornier Comet, Jumpiest Venus 34, your gal pal Valerie V, Edgy Moss, Riker Kurotu, Nongzalotl, Salutation, JRWI Enjoyer, and Jay Newell. Again, thank you so much to our $50 patrons and all our other patrons too, and everybody who watches and supports this podcast. It really means the world to us. And again, I will see you guys next time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I honestly think it's my favorite episode of Riptide so far. Uh, let me know what you think somewhere. Comments? Sure. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>